Today I got a gift from Haas. Let's check out what it is. They did package it on a very nice pallet, which is good. And it's still small enough that it came by UPS. It's our new tool changer arm. Oh yeah, I'm excited about this. Get the tool changer set up on the TM1. This will be the first machine I have with a tool changer. Even with this heavy duty box, you can see it almost poked its way out there. Tore the box just a tiny bit. Here's a tool changer arm that we got for our Haas TM1 that we got recently we're cleaning up. We're gonna add a tool changer to it too. Fortunately, this model, it's a 2005, it has a machined area already for where the tool changer arm attaches. And these are holes for alignment pins right here. So they didn't have any pins, so we had to get some half inch hardened pins. And we're gonna tap those down into there. And that's gonna be the alignment for the top of the tool changer arm. So that's this part right here that sits on top of the machine. And the pins, alignment pins are gonna go through here in this slot. And then this face is the face to which the slide from the tool changer attaches. And again, there needs to be some alignment pins, half inch dowel pins here and here. And then these are threaded holes. To keep the pin going in straight into the hole when we tap it in, using a V block and a flat block and a clamp just to keep it vertical. Okay, now we're doing the other pin, same method. Forgot to add some lubricant, huh? Uh. <laughs> okay, now we've got both pins in here. Now we can move to the top of the milling machine. That one goes in easy, huh? Yeah. We probably don't need to tighten it up too much because this, uh, there's also some front to back adjustment that happens here. So just a little bit. Here's the tool changer arm installed. Now this tool changer arm is designed for the newer TM1s that have the back wall that going all the way up here because they're enclosed. I plan to enclose this one too, so it's actually good that it comes out like this. The older style would go down from here and then forward like that, which would make it more difficult to build a wall and seal that off. So this one's nicer because it'll go over the, the wall, the back wall. Here's the front view and not a whole lot of space between this and the head, but just, I mean, enough clearance, like, like three quarters of an inch back here, I mean, half an inch, three quarter, half an inch, yeah. And then about an inch, inch and a quarter over here. So. I haven't yet tightened down the bolts back here because these allow for a little bit of front to back adjustment. So I wanna get the tool changer on first and make the adjustments that are needed before tightening those down. So now the slide for the tool changer is installed. We need to install the actuator motor 
that slides the tool changer in and out. And we need to install the tool changer on this now. 